Hey y'all, it's me, Stop, Drop, and Roll On. And I can't really see y'all. I think y'all can see me. I can see my hand doing stuff. But I'm kind of parked in a weird, well, it's not weird. It's just light. Real, like, real, like, light, light. It's bright, I should say. Anyway, today is Saturday. The day before Mother's Day. For some reason, I wrote the date, typed the date, inputted the date all day long yesterday. And I keep on to say today is the 12th. But I don't know. Honestly, because I do stuff like this sometimes. Anyway, what I will say is that I went to my meeting this morning. And, um... And I just got through grocery shopping, which is what kind of like what I do. Um, I have a routine. I am not a routine-driven person. Um, it kind of gets on my nerves a little bit. And um, I mean, I don't. I won't say routine, but being like extra predictable. That is something that I have always like ran from. Never wanted to be one of those type of people. And but. In some instances, it's necessary. i put it like that. So, um, what I've developed is after I leave my meeting, well, usually on Friday nights, I make up a menu. I don't, you know, do the prepping and all that, which I don't know, but I make up my menu and then I shop around the menu. Whatever I have, you know, yada, 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 st stuff like that. So, I've got stuff here in the back. And I'm not going to do a haul because it's, it's eh, whatever. It's food. And um, so at this point, I mean, and I look at hauls and I enjoy looking at people's hauls. It's just that for some reason, I don't know. I just don't, I don't really do them unless it's something different. Like this week I bought, the thing that I bought was, that was different this week was about some of these little bitty tiny sweet potatoes because I don't I use I eat sweet potatoes but I don't eat a lot of sweet potatoes so a lot I mean like a regular sweet potato honestly is normally like too big I'm not gonna eat the whole thing I'm gonna eat half of it and so these were like the perfect size so I got some of those and um then let me see what else I think that was like the only like different thing that I got except for this week I, I did buy some frozen spiralized butternut squash because to me butternut squash to spiralize is not fun I could be doing it wrong but I ain't even in the mood for trying to figure out how to do it right so I bought that frozen and I bought some fresh zucchini for spiralization but I also bought one package of frozen ones. And I don't know why I have this hoarseness. Um, I have been like this all week. I'm not, like, feeling it. I don't know what it's about. But I think it's more sinusy stuff. I don't get the achoo, achoo, achoo. And, but I have had the itchy eye stuff. And I used to, I mean, God is something else because... I mean, one summer, it was just so bad. I just actually hated going outside. And this was like 10, 15 years ago. And I pray, y'all don't even know. It's been a lot of stuff that I have prayed about. And God has just, you know, been faithful to me and with me in regard to listening to my prayer and answering them. And that sinus stuff was one of them because it, it used to be horrendous. And, um... I don't have it now. But back to what I was talking about. I went to my meeting this morning. And for people that are on my channel that um, pray, one of the ladies that does the weigh-ins at my thing shared with our group today that she is uh, found out that she has breast cancer. And so when y'all are praying, would y'all just pray for her. I mean, God knows who she is. If you just say, you know, the, the lady that weighs in and stop, drop, and rolls, stop, drop, and roll on a uh, meeting, you know, I, it would really mean a lot. And um, I, I was just, I kind of lost it a little bit in the meeting because it's like, 
how do you recover from that? You know, not her. How is she going to recover? I'm just telling you, we were talking about the topic. And then she came in and shared. And um, then we went back to topic. But I didn't go back immediately because I was, I just couldn't, you know. But I, but today's topic was about, you know, this, I, what I call mindless eating. And just diversional eating is what they called it. And, um, it's just one of those things where you just kind of, you know, again, one of those things, back to my, what the lady that weighs in, where you really do have to embrace life. And what she honestly came in to do was a selfless thing. She shared what she was, you know, what the diagnosis and stuff that she had been given. But she also did a public service announcement for us about taking care of our health. And I thought, even at that point, she's thinking about us, you know, why she's explaining to us what's going on with her. So, um, we talked about that. We talked about, you know, the diversional eating and why we find ourselves standing up in front of refrigerators and stuff. And then walking off and then going back like, you know, like something has changed since you walked into the living room and then came back and opened the door again. It's the same food. It's the same stuff. Nothing's going to magically appear. And I know um, that in our meeting, there's this poster which at the beginning of the year, no, the last time I joined, they had that Think, Feel, Do um, like I don't know, for lack of a better word, mantra, campaign, whatever you want to call it. And there's a poster up in our room at, you know, at the meeting. And all I could think about was when we were talking about diversional eating, was thinking, feeling, and do, going right on back to that thing. You, When you find yourself, to me, recently, when I find myself standing up in front of the refrigerator, like acting like something is going to magically appear. I do have, I have found myself doing more thinking about what am I doing here? Because usually I would just like, I'm going to find something and then I will find something and then that would be that. Even though I wasn't hungry, I was just doing diversional eating. It was something that was bothering me and I wasn't giving that thing you know, the attention that it needed. And so I'm just doing something that, you know, automatic pilot, so to speak. And so I start thinking about think, feel, and do. Think about what I'm doing when I'm standing here. Think about what I'm feeling. Am I really, you know, is it angst driven? Or is, you know, is it some type of, of emotion that I am trying to soothe, satisfy, annihilate, whatever, with food and then do for me i need to do something about it which does not involve me with you know left hand on the door right hand on the door left hand going in to get something i need to do something besides get you know what i'm doing number one i need to do is shut the door to the refrigerator and then start going back to thinking about what i'm doing and then feeling whatever it is. If I'm upset about something, then I need to look at what I'm upset about. If it's a valid thing to be upset about. Because I find out that not just with myself, but in talking to people, some of the stuff that we get worked up about, really, honestly, it ain't even worth it. When you look at it in the overall grand scheme of life and things, <clears throat> that doesn't it, it, I, everything doesn't require an emotional response some of it is stuff that just really needs to be let go and um, I don't know I just yesterday had an incident and I was talking back and forth with one of my colleagues and she was just like can't ask me could I believe that and I was like honestly yeah I said but right now what I'm choosing to do because of all the other things that need to be resolved and taken care of and this that there and the other is I'm choosing to do the frozen and she you know said the frozen I said yeah let it go 
And I said, I don't know the whole song. I just know that little thing, that little animated, whatever that is, is standing up there to me. I let it go, let it go. And I'm just like, look, I'm letting it go. Moving on, other things I need to do, this doesn't require this much attention. And that is, that was more or less my takeaway from today's meeting, although it tied in, it didn't tie in, but it tied in for me. And for me, I have to make these meetings make sense for me because if I don't then I'm not going to take the information and apply it it's just going to be another booklet that you are a piece of paper or something that you've taken home and just you know put down so oh today I lost I lost three pounds this week and I am extremely happy about that because I made a conscious effort this week to really honestly look at what I was doing. Um, I will say for sure that having the breakfast prepared this week made such a big difference. Um, I didn't have a problem with eating that breakfast because I just didn't. It didn't bother me. And I wasn't like eating the same thing every day. But I was eating some, it was similar, but the egg was the main thing. And what I kind of pretty much figured out was, um, for real, protein and carbs and all that, I, I do need that. I do need breakfast. And I try to act like I don't need breakfast. But there's a line for me that if I cross over, then I know that it's going to lead me to just making a quick, poor food choice. And so... When I eat breakfast, I don't get over into that thing. And so when it's time to have a next meal, then I can be in the moment and making a conscious decision about what I'm eating. Instead of, oh my goodness. It's just, just like, I don't even know if I told y'all this, but like last week, not last week, week before last, when I looked up and looked at my watch and the only thing that I had had for the day was a boiled egg and a cup of tea. And it was just like, okay, you really behind the eight ball. And it was just that I had just, you know, one paying attention. Just just on just doing and doing and doing. And you gotta pay attention to what's going on. So anyway, y'all, that's how my week went as far as Weight Watchers is concerned. And um I just wanted to check in and give y'all that update. And uh, it's another video that I'll probably put up. I won't say I'll put it up today because I might not put it up today. But I just wanted to that bring y'all, you know, up into the current on what's going on with me. I hope everybody had a good week. I hope everybody has a good week coming up. And whatever it is, whatever path you're on, that you totally, you know, buy into what you have said. That you want to do what you want to accomplish and do what it is that you have set out and purpose to do to get yourself where you're trying to go and that is all i got and i will talk to you all later Toot.